Hi there, welcome to the Peaceful Home and welcome to my spring home tour. Now this one is kind of special for me because I'm coming up on my one year anniversary of being on YouTube. I started with a few parenting and family videos and my spring video was my first home tour. And it really was my first one to get a lot of views, to get some subscribers that I didn't know. Kind of launched me into seeing what content people are really interested in. Now, for those of you that are here for parenting and family content, that has not stopped. I know I haven't put anything out since before the holidays, but I will be doing that in this next year. And so if that is what you enjoy, please stay tuned for more parenting videos. If you're new here, my name is Teresa Elling and I am a professional organizer, parenting coach, wife and homeschool mom to six graduated kids. In my videos, I bring you content, all things home and family, and I would love it if you subscribed and became part of the Peaceful Home family. I'm gonna to talk to you really quick about five ways that you can totally revitalize your space. Number one, if you've put away everything when the holidays came, as soon as you bring it out, it is all fresh and new. That's what I do every year, and it's like finding an old friend when you pull out a favorite blanket or pillow. Number two, thrift. You guys know I'm a huge thrifter. I thrift almost every week, even if it's just running into one store really quick. And I'm able to buy new items of decor at a fraction of the cost. Number three is shop your home. Uh, I took this blanket that was upstairs and I brought it down. I grabbed several plants from my bathroom, brought them out to the coffee bar, switch things up, move things around from room to room. Number four, DIY. This lamp I did a video on, I'll link it below, but that was a DIY project that I did and I'm super happy with it. Another one is this blanket that I sewed last year for my bedroom for the summer. I just wanted a really lightweight throw that I could pull up if I was grabbing a quick nap. And I was able to sew this one exactly the way I wanted it. Kind of like a gauzy linen with the ruffle at the bottom. I think I'm going to be doing quite a bit more sewing with ruffles because I haven't done ruffles for a while and I just love kind of the cottage feel that they bring. And lastly, buy new. Of course you can always buy new things. It's difficult for me to go into a store and not purchase things. I am determined to always stay within my budget and to not get caught in the trap of feeling that you always need something new. With my very small budget this year, I purchased two new pillows and they are the blue and white embroidered ones that you'll see on the couch. And I bought some new greens and flowers from Hobby Lobby that are in this picture. I just did a floral arrangement in a white picture and perfect for spring. So let's get on with the tour. Right away in my entry, I keep it simple with just this basket of faux flowers. And then moving into the kitchen, I have pops of green everywhere. Love to bring in plants in the spring. I haven't changed anything on my shelving unit, but over the window, I've changed quite a bit. I moved my blue glass that I have had there for the last three years up on top of the cabinets, and I've put some new things and new arrangements above the sink. I still have my white pictures up on the top. Here on the island, I have this glass cloche that I thrifted years ago. It's such a beautiful piece. And I have found that ferns, like this maidenhair fern, do really well underneath it. At night before bed, sometimes I forget, but if I remember, I pull the glass off and I leave it overnight. And in the morning, I put it back on. And it just gives it a chance to air out. But I almost never have to water this. I often go months without watering because it stays in its own little ecosystem and looks really beautiful in the kitchen. Uh, not too many changes to the pantry since I reorganized it. Um, I put the fern back up after the holidays and added another pothos plant. And then right here behind me, the dresser that I keep all my linens in, I've done some decor there, bringing in some bunnies. This is really my stuff for Easter. And when I do decorate for our Easter dinner, I'll set a table, I'll use some of these things. This is about all I will do for Easter decor. I don't do very much. But um, these bunnies are really cute. I love the moss ones and bringing in the silver, especially this reproduction 
chocolate mold I just think is so cute. And I have one of the nests that we found on the property that I put under a little glass dome. And then I changed out my three-tiered tray to represent Easter. And I had to include a lamb and a cross on there and just a teacup and a candle and some faux plants. Really simple. This is the picture of flowers I was telling you about. I just pulled an arrangement together of faux flowers. They're really lovely. Those could be put in my guest room. They could be put on the table. So I really could move those around anywhere. I completely redid my coffee bar that you see behind me. And I did do blue and white again this year, my favorite color combination. And I pulled out blue and white dishes that I've had tucked away. These dishes in particular were my very first secondhand find. Shortly after I was married, I bought these at a yard sale and they remain probably one of my favorite secondhand finds. And I especially love the teacups and it's fun to just kind of throw them all in this little wire basket. Another recent thrift find was this little sugar bowl that was missing its lid. And if you're ever missing a lid, it's great to use the item as a planter. So I just put a succulent in here. Although the picture ledges in my dining room look completely different, there isn't anything new there. I just rearranged the things I had and brought things in from other spaces. I really love the feathers that I collect on my walks and hikes around the property and I just pop them into this little picture. The mantle this year I did very simply with just some of my blue glass, one of my white pictures with some faux stems in it, using the same crates I've used before with some books, a couple of my favorite plants. You can do a lot with large items. Sometimes we get really bogged down with a lot of little tchotchke things that need to be dusted and cared for. And having one large plant can really bring a presence in the room that is lovely and uncluttered. I also brought in this vintage water bottle. It's made of glass in its original wooden crate that used to be on my front porch and I cleaned it up and brought it in. I brought a lot of white in with the blanket that I was telling you about, pillows I've already had, and the white embroidery on these new blue pillows I think is really striking and is really beautiful. At the fireplace, I had kind of a um, off-white pillow that was in the chair and it just looked a little dingy to me and I felt like I needed a pop of white right there. And I actually um, went to the thrift store just a couple of days ago, ran into my local Salvation Army and found this pillow, new with tags. And there it was just waiting for me to bring it home. And I knew it was perfect for this spot. I've also got a vase of faux lavender, which was in my laundry room and I borrowed it. And then back on the sofa table, this is where I put the lamp that I redid and just a bowl of limes, some books. Again, really simple decorating. Grab the things from around your home, put them in new spots. If you feel like you really can't decorate, grab a friend whose home you admire and ask her to come in and just switch things up for you. You'll be amazed what a new set of eyes could bring to your space. I'll add a little extra footage on the end of this video, anything that didn't make it in while I was chatting with you. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Peaceful Home. Thank you.